Shalom. First and foremost, call Loyum La, Yahweh Bashim, Yahushai Bashim, Rabchak Wadash. Devil unto the other apostles of the great news, don't tell us the truth, we will well. Peace, blessings, and salutations to the old fool elect tabernacle of David that are scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. And I'm sure you all heard the news. It's uh, officially confirmed that this dude, Kevin Samuels, went back to the spiritual realm. You know, a lot of people are going live. You know, different brothers already made videos, you know, talking about it. You know, me personally, you know, I was kind of going, you know, briefly go into it, you know, just say, you know, put my two cents in, you know, say a few words, of course, you know, bring a couple scriptures out. But, um, you know, I don't want to speculate, you know, how to do drop dead. You know, a lot of people talking about, you know, it might have been, uh, you know, all them damn Red Bulls he drank, you know, which, uh, you know, them energy drinks is not good. All right. <laughs> you brothers and you sisters out there, stay away from them damn energy drinks. It's number poison. All right. And, uh, you know, you would think that, you know, do like Kevin Samuels, who was considered, you know, amongst a lot of people as a, a so-called wise man, but he was a wise man according to this world which the Lord made foolish. He made foolish the wisdom of this world. All right? Now, the scriptures tell you, when you go into the Apocrypha, showing you that, you know, this word is really the wisdom, the true wisdom. All right? If we follow this wisdom here, you know, you uh, prolong your life. And this is, uh, I'm going to go to this real quick, the book of uh, Sirach, chapter 30. And uh, verse uh, 14 and 15 says, Better is the poor being sound and strong of constitution than a rich man that is afflicted in his body. You know, if you got all this money, but you're afflicted in the body, you got all these ailments, you know, you don't have a uh, sound health, then, um, you know, what value, you know, are you? If, if, if you're, you know, just totally afflicted in the body, now, and that's not to say that, you know, as a man of the Lord, you're not going to, you know, be afflicted in the body. You're not going to get infirmities. But, you know, there's still a way to uh, maintain your health. All right. One, by prayer, of course. And two, by, you know, your diet. All right. They said that he suffered cardiac arrest or he had a heart attack, you know, and um. There are studies that, that show that those uh, energy drinks can cause heart problems. But that's not to say that, you know, that was the source of his death. I'm not going to speculate. I'm not going to, you know, come up with any. Because you know all of the, the conspiracy theories is, you know, running rampant right now. You know, people asking, you know, did he take the the sauce, the, 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 the jello shots? You know, we don't we don't know. But, you know, it's better to be in good health, even though you don't, you ain't got Kevin Samuel, Samuel money, than to, uh, you know, have all that fame and, you know, the, the, the type of money that he made. But, you know, you're not, you know, taking well of your diet. All right, if he was, you know, really wise, you know, he would have, um, you know, took heed to what he was putting in his body. All right, it says, um, there is no riches above a sound body and no joy above the joy of the heart. Death is better than a bitter life or continual sickness. And then you jump down to uh, 25, it says, a cheerful and good heart will have care of his meat and diet. All right, if you have care of uh, your diet, you're not going to be drinking no damn uh, energy drinks. You're not going to be drinking soda. You know, you're going to be drinking, uh, you know, Sprite and, and Squirt and Dr. Pepper, Pepsi, Coca-Cola. It's highly toxic. That should have killed you if you drink too much of it. All right. But anyway, getting back to uh, Kevin Samuels. So it's officially confirmed. And you got people that are, you know, sending up their RIPs and condolences to his family. 
And then you got the other crowd, you know, which we all know who that is. All right, them uh, septum ring wearing, the uh, blonde wig, you know, though, though that type, you know, them them cumbrella eyelash types, you know, the, all that energy. You know, they they celebrating the man's death, and rejoicing. But um, you know, I wouldn't uh, rejoice, you know, too too hard. Because uh, he actually escaped. He's actually in the spiritual realm. You still here on the earth. And guess what? Judgment plays out right here on the earth. See, he's back in the spiritual realm. Let's get Ecclesiastes 3. And that's why it says that when you read in the Apocrypha, I believe uh, Sirach, the 41st chapter, it tells you not to fear the sins of death, but remember that, you know, that we have, you know, remember them that been before you, that come after you, because this is the sentence over all flesh. So eventually you're going to have your day and you never know. All right. And that's why you can't boast or be proud. You know, Kevin Samuels, despite, you know, the facts that he did speak concerning relationships and, you know, the ways of our women in, 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 in Western society, you know, dude had a proud spirit on him, you know, he was very proud, you know, he, uh, you know, prided himself on, you know, his ability to, you know, be able to, you know, woo people's minds because he was very articulate, you know, very intelligent, um, well-dressed, you know, sophisticated. He had a certain image. He was, he was a, a image consultant. But, you know, the Lord is not in awe at any man's likeness or greatness. It, uh, you could read that in Sirach, not uh, Sirach, the book of Wisdom of Solomon 6, verse 7. All right, the Lord don't care how much status that you have in this uh, world. All right, he doesn't care if you are considered a high value man on this side. The only men that are valuable to him on his side is his elect, the servants, the prophets, are the men that are that fear him and keep his commandments. That's who's valuable to him. He don't care about all that other stuff. So, uh, you know, this is what happened with uh, Kevin Samuels. You know, his, his, his time was up. Ecclesiastes 3 and verse 20, it says, All go unto one place, all are of the dust, and all turn to dust again. Who knoweth the spirit of man that goeth upward, and the spirit of beast that goeth downward to the earth? All right, meaning his body's gonna have to go down into the grave eventually. You know, he, you know, he just got cold this morning. Um, you know, but eventually he's gonna go down into the into the earth. But his spirit already then returned back to the Father, and that's the process of death. To you, to you, uh, you slow of heart Christians that still teach that you know you either gonna go to heaven or hell. Well, no, the scripture just told you how it all goes down. All right, your spirit goes upward and your body goes down into the earth. All right, uh, Ecclesiastes 12 and 7, Then shall the dust return to the earth as it was, and the spirit shall return unto the Most High who gave it. And, um, you know, once you return to the Father, that's where you appear before him, all right, to be judged. All right? And, uh, you know, Everything that, you know, dude did in his body, whether good or bad, is going to be brought to judgment. So really, you know, these people, you know, rejoicing and, you know, saying all type of jokes, which, you know, is 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 showcasing, you know, once and for all, you know, that, uh, you know, when you do speak form some form of truth, you know, people are going to hate you for it. You know, even Paul said, you know, am I there for your enemy because I tell you the truth? You know, he he put that mirror up to the to the so-called black woman, and they hated every second of it. You know, they was constantly trying to get that dude counseled. But well, they were trying to counsel uh the servants, the prophets too. You know. They they try to cut us off, you know. You know this, these men blaspheme, these men do this, these men do that. You know? They try to make us an offender for a word. 
the, the, the set of snare that we can never prove in a gate. So they, they try to counsel us too. And if we was to drop dead, you know, our enemies would definitely uh, rejoice. And that's not big enough Kevin Samuels because, you know, whatever he did or, you know, however it went between him and the Most High, you know, it was brought, it was, you know, brought to a close. All right. And that's why, like I said, you know, we can't be proud because you, you don't know your time. All right. And he often quoted the scriptures, but he had a zeal, but not according to knowledge. All right. He, he, he encouraged our people to get married according to the state. When the law actually tells us we're not supposed to, um, you know, we're not supposed to make any covenant with the heathen. And that's exactly what you're doing when you go down to the court and, and you know, get your little marriage certificate or whatever. And, you know, you sign according to the state. Now, the state, you know, becomes a third party in your union when your union is, be is between you, your woman and the most high. The state is not the most high. So. You know, we differed from Kevin Samuels on that standpoint. All right. But let me uh, get this scripture real quick. Uh, James 4 and uh, 13, it says, Go to now, ye that say, today or tomorrow we will go into such a city and continue there a year and buy and sell and get gain. You know, dude was always on the move. You know, I'm, I'm going to go to this city, you know, in, in, a, in a couple weeks and we're going to do this and do that. Will promote this uh this new fragrance, this new cologne. You know, he was out and about, you know. And he 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 liked to use how, you know, men that's uh you know making six figures or more and networking and doing this and doing that, you know, shows that you're a high value man. All right. But just because you're considered that according to those criteria of this world. That don't mean that you're going to live a long life. And that don't mean that, you know, you're had in favor in the eyes of the Most High either. Our dude was of this world and he spoke of this world. Therefore, the world heard him because he was of this world. And we're not of this world. That's why we don't get the same props. Are the elder apostles? You know, the, the, the men of Great Millstone and even some of the other camps to one West camps. Men was out there decades and letting it be known about these women and how our women are totally out of order. It gives no more red pill than the Holy Scriptures, man. It gives you it, it gives you the game. It gives you the wisdom on the nature of women. All right, these men tried. They they made a platform for them for themselves, speaking it their way. And they added their little personality. They called a personality and charisma with it, you know, speaking you know, quite fair, being very uh, uh, articulate with it. But at the end of the day, the Bible tells it all. It tells you about these women. All right. And we always put out videos encouraging the sisters to, you know, hey, stay on point, stay in order. Because the prophecies say, you, you women that are at ease, rise up, you women that are at ease, man. All right, give ear, you, 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 you careless women, hear my speech. Many days and years you will be troubled, you careless women. All right, it talks about how they will lament for the teats, you know, the vintage uh, felling. It's gonna get real hard for these women. They, hey, and, and the fact that these women are um, rejoicing over this dude dying, it doesn't negate the fact that you women are still gonna be held accountable, because the Lord gonna slay a lot of you hoes, a lot of you, the majority of you, especially here in Babylon, you ain't gonna make it at all. You filled with pride, all right, ego. You're very self-centered, selfish. Nobody can tell you nothing. You've been pedestalized. Nobody, you know, used to society just um, basically worshiping you. So when a man finally steps up and checks you, that's just out of the ordinary. You're not used to that. Because white supremacy didn't teach 
men are the, the, the men in our nation to to check our women and put them in, in their place. So hey, your your time is coming and you're still on the earth. Those of you that's you know saying jokes on 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 Twitter and you know posting up memes and all type of stuff, you know, being uh you know heartless, hey, you know. Your time is coming. So let me uh, let me let me finish this uh, verse. It says, verse fourteen says, "Whereas you know not what shall be on the morrow, for what is your life? It is even a vapor that appeareth for a little time and then vanisheth away." The dude was fifty six years old. That's not a lot of time at all. All right, it, it even tells you in the scriptures that um your strength. You know, to live is roughly around um, 80, 80 years. So he, he didn't even reach that. So that's fairly young, 56 years old. So, yeah, man, we, we, we that's why we, we got to be uh, transformed. We got to get those new bodies that's going to be uh, incorruptible. And that's when. When the Lord comes back and change us, we'll never die again. The Lord got the victory over death, and uh, you're gonna be it's gonna be some of us who will not um, taste death until we see you know our, our Lord uh, return. And we're gonna be changed in the twinkling of an eye, and we're gonna you know put off the 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 the, the mortal and put on immortality. And we're gonna have the law, statutes, and judgments in our inward parts because we die because we still sin. The wages of sin is death. So when the Lord changes us and put that the, the, the second covenant all right, within us and program us, we're not going to sin ever again. So we're going to keep the laws perfectly. Thus, we'll never die. So Kevin Samuels, he's in his right mind. He's in the spiritual realm. He knows he's an Israelite. All right. And, and, and he's going to come back and he's going to have it right. All right. But dude, I'm, I'm pretty sure he didn't see it coming. That's why you not. That's why we don't. We're not to boast. There's one minute you here and you on top of the world, and the next minute you you out of there. All right. It says for that you ought to say, if the Lord will, we shall live and do this or or that. All right. So yeah, you here for a minute, and then you know you gone, and you know that you you know now when it's your time. And homie, homie wasn't uh, innocent. He was of the world. All right, we, we, you have no idea of his, um, you know, his affiliations. You know, whether he was juiced in. You know, I've noticed he did a lot of those Masonic hand gestures on his, uh, on his uh, show. You know, let you know, and because they always, you know, use those hand signals to show that they're down with, you know, some some type of uh, you know, hidden group, whether it be Boule. You know, one of them, uh, you know, secret societies, those fraternities. I'm pretty sure he was a part of that. Or uh, he had his college background, he, you know, which he's proud to to talk about. You know, doers of the world, man. All right, and and you know, we know the scriptures say, "Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world." All right, the love. Uh, uh, let, let me get it real quick. You know, homie was of he was of the world. In order for you to be successful in this world, you have to be of the world. First John two verse fifteen it says, "Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world." If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. All right, and if you truly love the Father, you ain't gonna, you know, you're not gonna push, you know, the viewpoints of this world. You're going to be transformed in renewing of your mind. You're not going to uh, be conformed unto the, the image of this world. All right, dude, you know, if, if if he understood the truth and knew he was an Israelite, you know, he wouldn't have got all those lineups, those, the haircuts that he had. All right. Um, wearing, you know, them, 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 them tailor-made suits, them, them thousand, five thousand, ten thousand dollar suits. You know, that's not in an image of the Lord. You know, that's of the world. You know, he saw design that. All right. 
you will rock your beard, all right, because that's the law. You're not supposed to, uh, you know, shave your beard, you know, all type of things, you know. Now, if he would have came into the truth, you know, who knows if the Lord would have spared him. And I know he knew about the truth, all right. I know he knows about the, all them YouTubers, all these, you know, YouTube celebrities and famous people that be on the internet. They all know about the Israelites, so I know he knew the truth. You know, certain brothers, you know, left comments in his in his uh, live chats, so he's aware. Of, he he was aware of the truth. So you know, really, dude didn't have an excuse, man. But now he knows the truth. All right. So, you know, you're going to have a lot of Jake, you know, this is what they're going to talk about for the next couple of weeks, along with the Dave Chappelle hype, you know, Dave Chappelle getting, uh, <laughs> you know, getting tackled on stage by that bug out, that demon, you know, there's, there's all type of stuff going on right now, man. But meanwhile, you know, Esau's on the creep, all right, while everybody's uh, mind is, you know, all over the place with all these, with all these different you know, groundbreaking news. You know, he saw he's on some other shit right now. All right. Figuring out a way to um basically, you know, cut to the chase on his twenty thirty agenda, his you know, great reset. They're talking about a sub variant, you know, um of of uh the, the C one nine coming creeping back up. You know, and all the things that We've been talking about before, man. All these uh disasters happening. All right, famine is getting ready to 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 hit. All type of things are happening. So really, I wouldn't be too concerned with uh Kevin Samuels. All right, if I were you, I'd be well. The children, they going after the children right now, trying to groom and turn your children out, turn them over to Satan. Let's go to uh second edge of sixteen. You know, all you nigga woman that's uh you know <laughs> you just running wild right now. You know, you feeling yourself. Well, this is for y'all. Second edge of sixteen and uh one and two it says, Woe be unto thee, Babylon and Asia, woe be unto thee, Egypt and Syria. Gird up yourselves with cloths of sack and hair. Be well, your children, and be sorry for your destruction is at hand. All right, your destruction is at hand. Your dude dropped dead, but hey, considering how he went out, you know he had his little heart attack, then he was out of there. That was quick and, and to the point. You, on the other hand, you don't know if you're gonna starve to death. You don't know if you're gonna be uh, ravished to death. In in uh, in martial law, or or by some you know sex craves <laughs> uh, 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 prisoner escapee, you you don't know. You don't know if you're gonna be the next to drop dead if you took those, you know what. You don't know if you're gonna get uh, ripped up by by wild beasts, because those are all the spirits of, of vengeance. All right, the Lord said the plagues are, are, are going to come and they're not going to uh, draw back, man. He said, plagues are sent unto you and what is, what is he that may drive them away? All right. That dude is actually in a, in a safer place, but you ain't. You're still on the earth. And that's where the judgment plays out. So, you know, your your time is coming, man. All right, Eve. Yo, it's going it, 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 and it's going to be a sore slaughter, man. All right. Remember when he was saying that a lot of you, um, you're gonna die. You you're gonna die alone. You're gonna be on your own. Wait, well, that's scripture. Especially when when Jacob's trouble is at its height. A lot of men are going to be dropping dead. So guess what? That leaves you open. That leaves you with no protection. Because you allow society to hype you. 
and think that, you know, you don't need protection from a man. You don't need anything from a man. You got it. All right, you could be strong and independent on your own. Well, we're going to see how that how, how that works. But we know the prophecies say you're going to have women that's going to mourn not having uh, husbands. Second Ezra 16 and verse 32, it says, And the earth shall be laid waste, and the fields thereof shall wax old in her ways, and all her paths shall grow full of thorns, because though man travel there through, the virgin shall mourn, having no bridegrooms. So you ain't gonna have no men, you know, to look forward to, because they're they're not gonna be there. All right, if they're not of the elect and they don't have that the while, they're gonna die. So that leaves you open. It says the women shall mourn having no husbands; their daughters shall mourn having no helpers. In the wars shall their bridegrooms be destroyed, and their husbands shall perish of famine. So you know what? What are you gonna do in that time? Okay. So. Like I said, you know, I wouldn't be doing too much uh, rejoicing if I were you. All right, and, and and your time is coming, man. All right, all and, and and you really exposing yourself. All right, all that inner hatred coming out. All right, all all I'm seeing is is just vibes from them them septum rings, them them blonde wigs, them cumbrella eyelashes. You 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 uh Black Lives Matter, Twitter Shea Butter crowd all you women that were hurt because dude pretty much told you the hard truth that would like uh who said it was it uh george orwood that said it when you when in in the time of um universal deceit speaking the truth is considered a revolutionary act so people gonna want to counsel you they're gonna hate you when you speak the truth, because the, the, the truth is uh is bitter. You 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 wish death on a man because he says to lose weight, drop them pounds, basically in, in improve yourself, get rid of the attitude, be be uh cooperative, be feminine. That's what men want, and he was right on that. But now that he ain't here, and now you think, oh, well, we ain't got to hear that no more. All right? But you're only proving his point. Because you're still going to end up on your own <laughs> while the Lord is uh, sending plagues. Then who you going to run to, man? Because it's, hey, it's, 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 hey, it's revealing a lot. So a lot of so-called black men who simp you women, they seeing your true inner feelings being brought out. Hey, let, let's get that in a loop. From the abundance of the heart, the, the, the mouth speak. A lot of you nigga women out there, man, you really revealing yourself. So a lot of men are going to remember this. A lot of, a lot of uh, Jake men that are still here and they're seeing how you're reacting to this. This is uh, Luke 6 and 45. It says, A good man out of, out of the good treasure of his heart bringeth forth that which is good, and an evil man out of the evil treasure of his heart bringeth forth that which is evil. For of the abundance, for out of the abundance of the heart his mouth speaketh. And that goes for the woman too. And it's showing that you women are y'all evil, man. And I'm not and not every woman. I'm talking about who this applies to, all the women that's, you know showing themselves on on uh social media right now they, hey your time is coming man yeah he got judged but usually you, what about you all right a lot of women gonna die man a lot of them ezekiel 9 verse 4 we always go through that All right, and then like it says in Micah, you know, when when the Lord, you know, goes through the midst of Jerusalem and smite, then you you women gonna realize, all right, that you know you was totally out of pocket, and the Lord's gonna treat you like the enemy that you are. Micah seven and ten it says, then she that is my enemy shall see it, 
and shame shall cover her which said unto me, Where is the Lord thy power? My eye shall behold her, now shall she be trodden down as the mire of the streets. All right? So you're going to become a prey out there, man. If you think it's already bad where, you know, women are, are suffering, you know, uh, you know, you got certain women that's, you know, getting uh, put to death by their ex-boyfriends or husbands, you know, in uh, murder-suicide scenarios and, you know, baby daddies coming back and killing their baby mom with all type of stuff. Yo, you ain't seen nothing yet. So, you know, keep thinking this is a game. All right, we don't speak just to bash women. We want to, you know, set the record straight. Get in order. You got regular men in the world trying to tell you that? And you in the scriptures, we the, the prophets are telling you through the scriptures. These women that ain't right, it ends bad for you. That's what we're telling you. That's what the prophecies uh, say. It talks about how houses going to be um, rifled and, 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 and many women, wives, ravished. So, you know, Eve, you, your day is coming, man. All right. So, you know, I don't even want to speak this long on it, but, you know, I went over 30 minutes, but. You know, I just want to uh, go into that, you know, just share my few words, my giving my two cents on uh, Kevin Samuels uh, passing. You know, like I said, you know, I'm not going to act like I didn't watch, you know, some of his shows. You know, I would catch some of his shows. You know, I didn't watch it religiously or nothing like that. You know, because really, you know, at the end of the day, you know, we have the wisdom, man. We have the truth. And y'all going to find out in due time, man. All right, everything, a lot of the stuff that he was saying, we've been saying, the, our elder apostles been saying for decades. It was first on YouTube, cussing out our women. Okay? We, and, and, and hey, we were raw with it, man. If you thought he was bad, But he didn't have the truth, I and mean, he was of this world. So the Lord saw fit and, and took him out. But now he's good. So anyway, you know, I'm going to end off with that. I'm going to give all praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Rechagwadash, Devil, unto the elder apostles of the great millstone. Peace and blessings to your elect. Shalom.